Hey friends, how are you? Hope you're well and you've had a good week. Mine's been not bad. Um, I think I mentioned in the last Friday's video I've been really, really tired and you know, I was like napping in the afternoons and stuff like this. Um, I had a doctor's appointment this week anyway, so we're, I was chatting about feeling so tired and I recently got a repeat prescription of my medication. And we discovered that the repeat prescription was wrong, they'd given me a higher dose than I needed. So that's why I was so tired. So I've come back down onto what is the normal dose that I should be on. And I'm feeling better, I'm still tired. Um, I have napped a couple of times this week, but I am feeling like brighter in the head sort of thing. Um, on you know, most days, there are some days I'm still there. But we're back on, you know, we're beginning to get back balanced again, which is good. Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah, I was still yawning my head off, but it doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> what else has been happening this week? Hold on, I'm going to try and sort of get you that. You, you sit like that. Hold on, hold on to a minute. So I'm trying to, uh, that's better. Um, what else has been happening this week? Was out with my other half. Um, on Wednesday, which was lovely, really enjoyed that. We're actually going out again today, so that's nice. Um, so yeah, so it's been that's been good. Reading wise, it's been, I would say, a fairly slow week, and you'll probably see why in a minute. Um, what I with the, what I've been reading. So I finished Fireflies in the Field by Elizabeth Bromka. This is the third book in the Birch Harbor series. So this kind of book follows still follows all the Hannigan sisters but it's predominantly to do with Megan and her husband and there is in part of she's in the will there's like this Hannigan field and she has to, she decides that she wants to use it and it's what she wants to use it for um how the other sisters um help her and Brian also kind of you you still keep kind of catching up with what the other sisters are doing and I really, really enjoyed it. Is the fact that you know that Megan decides she's moving to Birch Harbor. Brian, her husband, comes with her, as does her daughter. We also see her daughter beginning to fit, you know, fitting into her year group sort of thing over the summer and making friends. So it was. I really liked it. I gave it. Um, I gave it three and a half out of five. So it was. It was good. I enjoyed it, and I'm. You know, I will definitely be carrying on with. The rest of the series. I just felt this week I really I needed a, an audio book. I want an audio book at night, so that's kind of what I read. With that, then we read this behemoth, the Moon Sister by Lucinda Riley. This is book five in the in the series. I've got two to go, and they are up on the shelf there. Um. So yeah. Oh. Um. So this is Tiggy's story. So so Tiggy is. A wildlife consultant and she's been working up in Scotland with a lady but the lady's just re decided to retire so Tiggy ends up going and working at Canard Estate um, essentially at the moment to look after the wild cats uh, to settle them in etc because they're hoping to start a breeding program but she's quite attracted to the Laird um, and she gets on very well with his daughter only thing is the Laird's wife ain't too happy which you, you would expect not that not that anything has happened i'm going to say that straight off nothing happens but the laird's wife is you know she thinks but while she's there she's been told by the lady she worked with margaret she went you've got to go and see chili and chili's an old man who lives in the estate so tiggy does and he goes you were meant to come and see me. I'm. I've. I have to send you home. And she's like, "What?" And then he sort of starts to tell her part of her where she comes from. And something happens that she ends up in hospital, and she decides to run at that point for a reason. And she goes, instead of going home to Geneva, she goes to Granada, which is where her ancestor is from, where her mother's from. So we then get the story of her finding 
her re finding relatives in in like Sacramento or Sacramenti. Learning more about her famous grandmother who was uh, or great grandmother who was a flamenco dancer. Um, and you know all the things that happen and the people she meets. I really, really I enjoyed it. I gave it five out four out of five. I re I did enjoy it. I think the story in the way she we the, the way Lucinda Riley wove like stories about famous people into the into the stories is really good, really enjoyable. Um, I liked Tiggy as a character. Um, I really did. I thought she was she was a fun character to read about, and you know, I. I look for I look forward to the last one. You get we snip it at the end of of the next story, and that's Electra's story, and she's the youngest sister. And if I hope it just continues that all the, the her stories are as interesting. So yeah, so but it was a behemoth, all seven hundred and thirty eight pages of it. But I did enjoy it. I then picked up. I then picked up on my Kindle. I got a review, an e arc of Every Day is Christmas by Karen Shaler. This is her new Christmas book. I gave it four out of five. I really enjoyed it. Um, we meet Alexis and she doesn't celebrate Christmas. Um, and every year just before Christmas, if she has a boyfriend, she dumps him. And she's very hard working. She's very driven. <clears throat> the same with her. She drives her, her, co her worker, her co her uh, co workers, and you know her associates very very hard. She is a financial person, and we find out the reason why she's like this, and. You feel you do feel sorry for her. You do feel sorry for her. Um, she, on Christmas Eve, she decides. You know, she she's been she's really annoyed because folk in the her people that work for her in the office have had like a, a sort of they've had Christmas music playing. She she shut down. She shut down their party. They're exchanging secret Santa gifts. She shut that down. Everything. Um, and she says, right, you're not getting your Christmas bonuses. We haven't met, we haven't met our targets, you're not getting them. Which is really not the way to run a business. Um, but anyway, on Christmas Eve night, she receives a visitation from her mum who has passed away. And this is very much a modern day take of A Christmas Carol with Alexis's mother and her father showing her Christmas past, Christmas present, Christmas future. And I have to say, there were, I had tears in my eyes. I didn't cry, but I had tears. I think if I, I stopped at one point, I think if I hadn't stopped at that point, I would have been bubbling. It was very poignant, beautifully written, great characters, really, really enjoyed the characters. Um, loved, you know, Alexis's mum and dad they were just brilliant I liked the way that the story they showed her you know obviously things that meant a lot to her and just showed her that you know yes Christmas, Christmas can be a very sad time for a lot of people because of things that have happened but it can also be joyful even for people who are sad there can be something that gives them hope gives them love gives them just something that will maybe just help them and i just really liked that i thought it was really beautifully written um it's like i think it's very hard if you know obviously most people will know a christmas carol so it's very very hard to sort of think how can you redo that but the way they, the way that Karen did it was was beautiful. It was really nice. It is being made into or has been made into a movie. Um, I don't know when that's coming out. If I find out, I will put put it down in the in the description bar down below. Um, but yes, it. I will also put when I put. 
I will tell you when it's being published as well. Hold on. Wait a minute. We have the handy dandy. What would we all do without our phones, guys? Right. Um, it has been published on Tuesday the 10th of October. So you have you have time, but if you want to read a love a very lovely Christmas story that is a modern retelling of a classic, then I would pick it up. It is absolutely beautiful. So I hope you will pick it up and enjoy it because I very much did. I then picked up Murder at the Summer Fete by Victoria Walters. I am on I'm sort of 42 pages through this um so I've got that to read I am enjoying it it's really it's a nice cozy very int very very interesting I'm going to see what, I'm looking forward to seeing where it's going I know mum really enjoyed this one so I'm sure I will as well so definitely be reading that this weekend well oh, this is ridiculous sorry guys for all the yawning I also then decided last night I wanted another audiobook so I'm picking up Sold on Love by Catherine Fuller I'm sort of like I've got sort of three two chapters of this read so or listened to so yeah so that's kind of, you know I'm enjoying it I have to say it's the next one in I can't remember what her series is called I will leave it in the description down below um but yeah that's kind of what I'm going to be reading this weekend I know that um the Eugene Porter, the e arcs are coming out, or Tool are putting the e arcs out. I think they may have actually put them out last night. Um, I've just received a message on my phone. I think this is the one that I'm waiting on. So hopefully finish, I can read that on my on my Kindle Fire hopefully, so that'll be fine. Um, if I decide, you know, I can switch between listening to a book and everything so I can work all that out. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of what I'm going to be reading kind of over the weekend. Definitely the the audiobook and the summer fate, and then if I can get the audiobook virtually finished by sort of next week, well, seeing by Monday or Tuesday, I'll then go on to the, the the new Jane Porter. So that'll be great. But what else am I going to do? Is I'm going out with my other half tonight, this afternoon. So that'll be nice. Um, I don't. Know, we've, got, we've got athletics on at the moment. The world. The rug. The world championships are happening in Budapest so I've been watching that every day it's been really good uh, Scotland play their final match against Georgia for the Rugby World Cup warm-ups um, tomorrow so definitely be watching that play watching other warm-up games as well um, I've got some crafting I'm, I'm cross-stitching a bookmark but I don't know it's for a friend's parents Christmas so I'm not gonna sort of show that but I am I'm doing cross stitch bookmarks at the moment. I'm really enjoying it. It's it's fun to do. Uh but apart from that, that's kind of all that's gonna be happening this week, uh or this weekend. Next week I don't think I've got very much on so that's nice. Um just have very much a chill week. Um and just try and let my body readjust to the lower dosage of medication. Yeah, I probably probably should nap at some point today, I think. And I can hear you saying With all the yawning you're doing, you need to nap. So I will have a wee nap before I go out, uh, definitely. But that's it for this video, friends. It's kinda of short and sweet. Please let me know down in the comments. Have you read any of the books I've mentioned? What did you think of them? Um, what are you reading and what have you been reading this week? I would love to know and what your what are your plans for the weekend. Again, that would be, I'd really like to know that. But until my next video, friends, stay safe and happy reading. Bye! Editing Fiona here. I forgot to sh bring a book up with me that I wanted to sort of show you. I, I made a, a small purchase this week. Yes. Um, it's been on my radar for a while, it's been on my Amazon wish list for a while, but I saw it in Waterstones. I've been eyeing it for the last three times I've been in Waterstones, thinking, do I, don't I, do I, don't I? And I decided, what the heck, I've got book tokens, so may as well use it. Um, and I did purchase. So I got myself my Hugo Home, How to Make Home Your Happy Place by Meek, Meek Wicking. So I am really looking forward to this, guys. It is like, oh, 
you know. So yeah, um, I've read one of one of Meek's books before, another Huga book. So I always I always like books on things like Huga and Fika and stuff like that. So um, yeah, it was my my other half saw me and I went my Hickey home. I'm like, no, it's not Hickey, dear. It's Huga. No, it's Hickey. It's like no, it's Huga. So, but then we, we we had a discussion in Waterstones. So yeah, so I bought that, and then I also had a voucher for Hobbycraft, which for those not in the UK is a craft store, and they've started putting their Christmas stuff out. So I got that. So I don't know why I'm gonna because you can hang it up. So that may go in somebody's stocking. And then I got some lovely stickers. Um, I think these will go on like Christmas, me going Christmas cards, envelopes. So yeah, so I bought myself, bought myself those. So that those were my purchases this week. So I have. I'm actually waiting on another book coming in from Amazon. It's a, a Shally School. Um, it's not a fill in. It's well, I suppose you could call it a fill-in. It's like short stories, so I'm that should arrive at some point today. So I'm looking forward to that. So, but I'll let you see that um, next week. But I hope you've enjoyed my my little editing bit, um, and I, I'm keeping the Huga book hopefully for uh, non-fiction November. But that's it. Bye.